I mean, a lot of talk now about we need not just apply the basic religious principles, but we need to apply the jurisprudence. Uh, the jurisprudence, which is how pe different people interpret it, different principles and values, have varied over 14th century. And you have a whole huge variety you know, of, of views on jurisprudence. You know. And that precisely is what should be left you know, to people, to the parliament, you know, to, you know, to the judicial system, to interpret which rule is the most suitable for present days. Islam is the most complex, you know, in, in regulating relationship between religion and the state. But the question of Sharia law, the, the, how you regulate, you know, family law, women's rights, uh, you know, uh, uh, banking system, what have you. And we have been through so many different views and interpretation, again, goes back to the jurisprudence over many, many, many centuries. When countries where you have a good, you know, enlightened environment, like in the, you know, southern part of Spain, you know, when Muslims were benefiting from the Greek and Roman civilization, working hand in hand, Averos, working, for example, hand in hand with the Memonite, you know, and uh, Jewish philosophers, you know, I, I think this was the top at the time when Islam and thrived, you know, and, and, the, and the Muslim civilization has been at its peak, you know, because it was a more of an inclusive, you know, uh, religion, a more of an inclusive philosophy rather than an exclusive one. The basic principles of, of Islam are no different from any other religion. You know, you just have to be fair, just, you have to work hard, you have to take care of your family. I mean, I, I don't, these basic values, as the Dalai Lama, I was with him, you know, a couple of weeks ago, he said these are core of secular values that have been agreed to, subscribed to by everybody. You know, uh, on top of that, you have your own religious belief, but that is a plus, an addition. But it doesn't take away from these core values, which we have de developed over at least the last hundred years, you know, uh, that have been enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, different, you know, different conventions on economic and social rights, civil and political rights, and rights of women, rights of children, everywhere. Uh, to me, it's, it's, it's a phony fight right now. السيد النائب ممدوح اسماعيل خالف نظام الجالسه الجلسه والزنا وطلع الحديث دون ان ياخذ راي رئيس المجلس rather than us getting together on trying to assure that everybody has their basic needs satisfied right to assure that everybody has their basic freedoms guaranteed we continue to say how we are going to ensure that we apply sharia law in fact, part of the problem that we really haven't applied these basic principles, because if we would have applied these basic principles, we would have a better system of social solidarity, of so, you know, social justice, of guarantees of basic rights and freedom. Uh, it's good to encourage people to continue to engage into uh, you know, uh, discussion, uh, uh, in understanding of, uh, of how you ad adjust and adapt and and, and get, get the religion to be a living organism, a moving, you know, moving with, with the time. Uh, but don't try to subscribe one single interpretation, which many people perceive to be a, an extremist interpretation, uh, on, on the rest of society. And that's what is happening right now as we write our constitution. Some people saying, this is the word of God. Well, this is the word of God as you understand it but not as many other people understand it. And don't force it on other people. And don't get very much into the morality. You know, this is, again, as the, the head of the Nahda party in Tunisia is saying, you know, if you try to impose, you know, rules, you know, as how people would behave, you will create a society of hypocrites. You know, they, you, should be, you should only continue to have role models, but don't try to impose it by law. It doesn't work.